from visitmysmokies.com. It's the fun cast for the first few days of December and a very important weekend this time of year in the Smokies. I'm your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet. It's a big weekend. It's a big parade. It's the Gatlinburg Fantasy of Lights Christmas Parade. And it kicks off Friday at 7.30 on the Parkway downtown. Lasts for about an hour. Starts up at uh, Baskins Creek Bypass in East Parkway. Balloons, floats decorated by local businesses and community groups. High school marching bands, they're all going through downtown before ending at uh, traffic light number 10. Get there early, get a good parking spot and a good seat. Academy of Country Music Award winner and Grand Old Opry member Mark Willis will be leading the way. So... Smoky Mountain meteorologist, what kind of weather are you expecting? I think we'll be okay as far as rain goes. It'll be pretty cloudy. Temperatures at the start of the parade should be right around 53 degrees, and there'll be a south breeze of about 15 miles an hour. Now, we move on to uh, Saturday in the morning, and in Sevierville downtown, it's the 60th annual Christmas parade, 11 a.m. on Saturday. Again, you get marching bands and car groups and pageant winners and baton twirlers going north on Forks of the River Parkway, making a ride on Main Street, making a ride on Court Avenue, and then back to the starting point. This parade takes about 30 minutes, and... Unfortunately for this one, there's about a 70% rain chance on uh, Saturday morning as the system moves through this uh, coming weekend. So be ready for that. Uh, The temperatures for that parade will be up into the middle 50s. So rain on uh, Saturday, no snow anytime soon. I don't really have that in the forecast. I do see a small chance maybe from a system that could zip through here by next Friday going into next week, and I'll keep you posted about that. We get a lot of questions about snow in general at Visit My Smokies. Um, We've had a couple of smaller events already for this cold season, but certainly nothing major so far. Are you you looking for snow when you come visit uh, the Smokies? Well, your best odds are in January and in February. With average monthly snowfall totals of four and two inches, respectively. And the average for March and April, it's about an inch of snow each. Now, that's at the the lower elevations, like where all the attractions are. Now, if you want to get up into higher elevations, yeah, it's going to be a lot snowier at Mount Leconte. And here's a fun fact. Newfoundland Gap gets an average of about 70 inches of snow per season. And, yeah, look at that. That is a common view in winter around there. Well, you know what? I can guarantee snow. How many weathermen do you know that say that? I can guarantee snow for your Smoky Mountain uh, vacation. Just schedule some snow tubing at Rowdy Bear's Smoky Mountain Snow Park. Or you can go to Ober Mountain. The Ober Tubing Hill is 350 feet long with a 50-foot drop. And Rowdy Bear features a 500-foot long hill with a 70-foot drop. Well, no drops in temperatures anytime soon. These are all numbers that are generally either near or above average in my forecast for the week ahead. A high temp of 57 Friday, 60 on Saturday with that rain, especially in the first parts of the day. A lot of clouds Sunday, but it looks pretty quiet. And then another system moves through as warmer air pushes in. So some showers Monday afternoon into Tuesday, but 67 by Tuesday. Maybe some showers Wednesday morning. And then we're back to highs in the 50s again by next Thursday. I'll be back with more information on the continuing fun of Winterfest next time that you join me and visit mysmokies.com.